I have not received anything. Um, I'm quite sure, or I don't know if you knew, but the the very second that I left your courtroom Wednesday, Your Honor, I was placed on suicide watch. I was told that it was per jail administration, um, that it was policy. It, it was nothing I could do about it. They immediately took me right from court, stripped my cell. I talked to mental health. They changed me right over into the smock. And I was basically placed on that. They they just gave me regular clothes maybe maybe 10 minutes before I came to your courtroom, Your Honor. So I haven't, uh, I, I wasn't allowed off. any help. We'll mail. give it to you. Huh? I, I had the letter printed off and we'll give it to you now so you can take a moment to review it. It really says everything that I just put on the record just now as well. I accept for value and return for value this document. Um, I would just note there's a typo in your name, but so my apologies for that. The middle initials indicated wrong. But it does reference this case number. When was when was this letter? Um, Cause like I said, I I've been on watch, so I haven't been able to obtain any mail whatsoever. Not not from the courts, not personal mail, not not anything. So that was uh, signed on Friday and then sent over. I'm not sure if it was emailed or if it was just delivered to the jail. I don't know if Madam Clerk has any information. Um, it was done by my other clerk, but in any event, you have it before you. What I can tell you, sir, is that uh, normally um, search warrants may be sealed for a period of time. All of these warrants were set to be unsealed previously, but due to uh, the pretrial publicity and the um, various orders related to the jury, um, including the use of the jury questionnaire, I had at the request of the parties uh, and with the consent of all parties sealed or continued the seal on all of these documents and the previous order indicated that everything would be unsealed either November 30th or at the conclusion of the jury trial, whichever came first. Of course, the jury trial is now concluded even though the case hasn't gone to sentencing. Uh, so my intent would be to unseal everything uh, tomorrow unless you have an objection and it's based in law. I, I have, like you said, this is my, I didn't even know that this was even sent over to the jail until right now until you told me. Understood. Do you have an objection to what I propose to do, sir? I, I don't even understand. What do you mean by sealed and unsealed? I, I don't. It would become a matter of the public record and anyone could review those search warrants if they make a request. Search warrants for uh, what property? There's a number of search warrants that have been sealed as it relates to this case. From what I saw, everything's been pretty much uh, public. Um, I don't see why they need to be unsealed at this point. Everything's pretty much been public already. All right, well, I am going to unseal them effective tomorrow. Uh, the clerk's office is instructed that first thing tomorrow morning, they may unseal all of the search warrants um, in this case. The next issue I wanna address is, um, I want to make a record specifically as it relates to the restraints that the Sheriff's Department utilized during this case, given a comment made by Mr. Brooks when the jury was coming out the very last time um, I don't recall if you said something about a stun belt or uh, shock shackles or something to that effect, but it was inaccurate. I have asked the Sheriff's Department to provide photographic documentation of the shackles that were utilized in this case. The parties will recall um, the tables look a little different now because there are no table skirts on them. 
um, on all defense tables in the secure courtroom, there is a, a ring, it's really it more looks like a uh, rectangle, uh, that is attached to the leg of the table and an inmate who's in custody but in trial, uh, a soft restraint system is utilized, um, primarily so it's soft and not heard, and then it's attached to the table so that it confines the inmate uh, to a, a small area with that table. Obviously during the trial, Mr. Brooks was able to stand. Um, his hands were free, but I felt it important to have a thorough record of the restraints that were utilized. The photographs that have been provided are on a compact disc. They will be filed as court exhibit three, but they will remain under seal. Um, and that is because of the security concerns related to how the Sheriff's Department um, secures inmates uh, during a trial. That certainly is an overriding interest, uh, overriding any public interest to see what those restraints are. Um, and I would just further note that during the trial when Mr. Brooks would be brought from the holding area into the courtroom, this courtroom was closed to the public. Um, and that was really to maintain that um, privacy, if you will, or secrecy, if you will, regarding the restraint system. And so I believe it's important that that information not be released to the public. Um, it will be available, of course, to the court and the parties. Um, and if there is an appeal, any attorney that may represent you can certainly look at that, but it'll otherwise uh, be under seal. So Why would that? The record is very clear on the restraint system that was utilized during this trial. I, I have a question to that. Okay. Why, why is that, why is that remaining sealed, but everything else being open to the public? That's, I've indicated my reasons are on the record. I'm not going to restate them. So well, I think, I think that the public, if they're, if they're allowed to see uh, search warrant information and things like that, then I think that they should know that it was a shock device on my ankles. That there was, was no hurt. shock device. It on was your a ankles, shock sir. device. I was told it was a shock device. Mr. Brooks. And That's it was why covered I'm up. The it was covered up by a black cloth, so the jury purposely could not see it, and so that the public could not see it. I was told that a chair had to be placed on my side so that no one can see that I was shackled with ankle shocks. I think the public should know that. The jury should have known that. That's what they were. Mr. Brooks, I've made my ruling. Um, your characterization. I, I respect your of ruling, but it as, should be it should be noted. Your it should be noted. Is noted for the record. It York. should be noted that I had a shock device on my ankles. That's the fact. It it's is a, not fact. a fact. Sir. It is a fact. I'm the one that had them on my ankles. I inquired about what they were. Obviously, I'm going to require about what's being put on my body. I was told that they were a shock device, which I know how a shock device looks because I've I've been through this before in Milwaukee. So I know I know what a shock device is. It was clearly a shock device that was purposely not shown to the jury or to the public. Purposely not. And then now you're saying that it's going to be sealed. Well, why should it be sealed? The right, public Mr. doesn't Brooks, deserve, you're, you're, the public deserves to know. You've made a record The and public it's deserves noted. to know about and uh, things, things pertaining to a, a, a search warrant, but not the fact that I was limited by a shock device, that if I moved the wrong way, I could have got shocked with all this voting. It's absolutely false that you that have shocked the vice That is not false. Answer. And you know that it's not false. Well, I have the photographs. Well, show that the photographs. Where's the photographs? The Where's the photographs? And they you will be sealed. You just said they would be sealed. Why, why do they need to be sealed? From public view. Why do they need to be sealed? reasons that I've already indicated. Why do they need to be sealed from the public? Mr. Brooks, I need to move on to scheduling. Can we move on to subject matter jurisdiction that hasn't been proved for the record? All right. So Can we move on to that? Mr. Brooks, I really don't want to remove you from the courtroom today. It, but I, I, need I don't, to I don't want to be removed, but you're not going to sit here and tell me on the record what was on my body when I was told what it was. That's inaccurate. And I, I refuse. At a, at a later Honor, point in time, I, Honor, would, I refuse to sit here and let you make an inaccurate record when you know that it was, in fact, a shock device. That's why I had the black cloth in front of the table so it couldn't be shown. That's, That's why I had a chair sitting on the side of me that was told needs to cover up the fact that I had a shock device on my ankles. And it's, I think it's very, very, very unfair and it's dishonorable to get on a record and not tell the truth. I'm not trying to dishonor you, Your Honor. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm not trying to disrespect your court. I just want the truth to be told. That should not be sealed. If, if, if everything else could be open to the public, then the public should know that I had a shock device on my ankles. 
that was purposely not shown to the jury or to the public. They should know that. All right, thank you, Mr. Brooks. I disagree wholeheartedly with your well, characterization. Well, it's, it's not true. Mr. Brooks, I didn't interrupt you. Please it's not don't true. interrupt me. It's not true. Mr. Brooks? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure there's cameras rolling right now because there are always cameras rolling. There's always audio on. Mr. Brooks, I need there's to public, move on to there's scheduling. There's public in the courtroom. I had a shock device on my ankles, and they purposely did not want to show that to you guys or to the jury. Mr. That's Brooks, why I can only move I'm advising you. Here or here. Mr. Brooks, I'm advising why. you. And I always had the chair right here. Everybody that came to this courtroom seen that I had a chair right here, even though I had no counsel. What is the reason for me to have a chair right here? Right. Mr. Brooks, why any further, any in further in interruptions table? will result in you being removed to the other courtroom okay. because and you're not letting me move, move on to okay. scheduling. Is it civil contempt or criminal contempt? All right. One more interruption and you will go to the other courtroom. Well, they need, they need to know that. Stop. They need to know that. They need to know the truth. I'm going to ask the state some questions. If you interrupt when I do that, you will be removed to the okay, other courtroom. Okay, remove room. me in. All right, remove attorney. Me in. Attorney Basie. It's not going to stop the fact that they need right. to know that. All right, he, he's interrupted. I'm sorry, everyone. We'll have to clear the courtroom. He'll be removed to the other courtroom. I'll that's, make that's the appropriate fine. findings. Tell the truth, though, Your Honor. Tell the truth. I, I have a shackle. I have a shock device Captain, on my ankles. Captain, see you. We're off. We're